more politics now. The Republican primary voters rule Texas, in many cases, just because they show up to vote. With only 1.4 million voters participating in the GOP primary, that means as few as half of those voters, about 700,000, have in some cases selected all statewide officials in recent years. In primary elections. Yeah, that means just by showing up, a, a small few pick the leaders for a state of 26 million people. And there was a huge uh, conglomeration of these candidates. There was this, the Hearst Community Center, mm -hmm. you know, that big mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. convention mm -hmm. center there. Last week, or last Saturday, all of the candidates in all of the Tarrant County and, and everything were there 90, to be interviewed. 99.9% and... .9 of them are Republicans. Well, good. Right? Well, some <laughs> Democrats aren't even on the ballot. This year, no Democrat filed for election to a county government position in 86 of Texas' wow. 254 counties. So the only real competition in Texas politics occurs in the Republican primary. Well, uh, but it, it doesn't in the president, in the governor's campaign and in their le uh, lieutenant mm -hmm. governor and the mm -hmm. attorney general. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Democrats come out in profusion. Well, and if you go back, say, what? 60 years or more, wasn't it all the other way? Wasn't it, this was a blue state, it was all Democratic, statewide politicians? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's flipped. And then you look at some counties like Harris County and Dallas County that have turned blue. Mm -hmm. So I don't think anybody can get too comfortable. And I don't think that people should just give up because